As we've seen now too many times in other cities, the people of Pittsburgh here are now united this weekend, especially in Squirrel Hill. Here's Nikki Batiste. Squirrel Hill is picturesque and home to a quarter of the city's Jewish community. What's the one word you would use to describe this community? Well, there's a, there's a Hebrew word called achdus, which means, which means unity. Shlomo Perlman's Judeo bookstore has been part of the neighborhood since the 1950s. It doesn't matter what we do, where we work, where we go to synagogue or church, we're neighbors. This sprawling community is a throwback in time. Old-fashioned markets line the main street. Neighbors know each other well. There are lots of things to wonder about in this world. It was also Mr. Rogers' real-life neighborhood. Fred Rogers grew up in this house, just a few blocks from the site of yesterday's deadly shooting. If it can happen here, in Mr. Rogers' neighborhood, it really can happen anywhere. Five of the 11 of the Tree of Life victims also called Squirrel Hill home. How's the community doing? I mean, it obviously brings you together. Rabbi Morty Rudolph runs the Friendship Circle, which unites locals, Jewish or not. It definitely feels like there's um, just an overall sadness, and, and it's a process that I think everyone's kind of coming to terms with in their own way, each individually. Today, children like three-year-old Lulu came together to learn about a virtue that weaves the fabric of Squirrel Hill. Have you learned about Mr. Rogers here? What have you learned about Mr. Rogers? Love. Love? Love and resilience are hallmarks here tonight at this vigil. That was Nikki Batiste also here in Pittsburgh.